Let's consider a function f and a point a located at some x coordinate x such that its y value is f of x. We could consider another point b located a distance h to the right so that its x coordinate is now x plus h and its y value is f of x plus h. Now if we draw a line in between point a and point b, this would be called the secant line and the slope of this secant line would be equal to the average rate of change of the function between point a and point b. If we wanted to write this slope as a formula, this would be y2 minus y1, or f of x plus h minus f of x, divided by x2 minus x1, or x plus h minus x, which just equals h. Now while this average slope is a good estimate of the overall rate of change from point A to point B, we can see that it's pretty bad for estimating the slope closer to point A, where the function isn't increasing nearly as quickly. One way to get a better estimate of the slope at point A would be to move the point B closer to A. If we did this until A and B were right next to each other, now our formula would give us the slope of the tangent line at A, which is also the instantaneous rate of change and the value of the derivative at point A.